And I guess I was wrong about every two zones being a cutscene for real. But yeah. I'll try to show off these power-ups. Uh, like that one's a normal shield. The electric shield is also back. But I don't think you could double- well, you could already double jump, so I don't see the point. <laughs> but yeah. Um, as for two players, I know I never finished my Sonic Colors two player run. Maybe I'll attempt it here, because my brother might be able to play with me. But uh, if that's the case, it won't be till like at the end of the game, obviously. It'll be like an extra video. And yeah. But if enough people want it, sure, go ahead and ask for it, and I'll cover it. So here we go, off to Desert Ruins Zone 2. You, fat one, go take care of that blue pest. Hi. Who are you calling fat? You. Now, if you hurry and destroy Sonic, I've got an even bigger sandwich. Oh boy, that would hurt! <laughs> And that folks is Zomon, or Zomamon, I don't even know what the name is. Oh my god, it's a mock speed section, we're in Sonic 06, game's destroyed, of course game over. No, I'm just kidding. These sections are actually really easy to control. And this, this is actually the only stage that has this, I'm kind of mad. Like, the other stages have parts of it, but there's not a stage dedicated to this yet. There's two grinding stages that we'll see later on, but nothing... I don't even know what Zomamon said there, Zomamon. I still don't know his name. But yeah, I don't know what he said there. But uh, yeah, but, oh, I'm still in that game. Whatever. But yeah, th it's not bad. Th this, they have, s like, the control in this is so spot on. I love it. Uh, I would, I would not mind another Sonic game with levels like this. If the controls are like this. Like, honestly, it's really easy to control. And there you just saw me get a life. This is actually a stage where I'm going to be showing you guys something. I thought I was the first to figure it out. What's he saying? I'm going to go But yeah, this is the first stage. I thought I was the first guy to find this out. And then I realized, oh, everyone knows about it. I watched all their playthroughs. I heard about other people. Um, like, the game and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> How did I not... I mean, I, I thought I figured out something cool for once, and I ended up not figuring out something cool. Oh, that's, I went to the wrong one. Well, there's a section there where you can get three lives. Oh. Oh, and if you get splatted on the wall, that happens. <laughs> that's not what I was aiming for. It wasn't yet. I know, it's, I know it wasn't yet. Because there's another prop for it. If I can show you the three lives thing, at least. Alright, it's to the right here, I think. Yeah. Alright, so after you do that, you hit these bees up here. And yeah, I love the super homing attack thing that you, Sonic has going for him here. Oh, nice red ring. Hey, I missed that! Oh no, that was a checkpoint! I did not think that could happen. Um, see I'm boasting about great control and then bam, Sonic goes and can't stop. <laughs> Whatever. I also love how they brought points back as a thing, but no one seems to care about them. There isn't even like a score attack mode, which I find very disappointing. Okay, three lives. But obviously, what I'm going to show you is live grinding. This is, this is the best stage for live grinding. The only problem with live grinding is that you have to hear Zomon's voice every freaking time you hear. Right here. Four lives. Bam. Dead. All you gotta hear is he, he keeps saying that he's gonna make it look bad, like Joel Zomon keeps saying. But basically, if you just keep doing this, bam, splat on the wall, you could either take the wall splat or the spike spells over there. Choose your death. <laughs> but yeah, I'll do this like two more times just so I get. Because actually, you will need lives for later in this game. This game actually gets hard later on. And I'm not trying to do any like off screen grinding, so I'm gonna get to like 30 lives and then I'll be satisfied with the lives that I have. Because one thing they actually did remove in this game, getting 100 rings does not give you an extra life. Usually, that's like a staple in every Sonic game. Every platformer, basically. 100 of whatever you're collecting usually will give you an extra life. Or give you something. 
Not in this game though. This game, 100 rings, too bad. It doesn't count for anything. So it's like rings are just another point. Just... And here's Zalmon. Zalmon. I still don't know his name. We'll call him Zalmon just because. So the first se section of this, you just want to dive. Just hold the dive button. I think it's the R button. It's the R button. Whatever you call it. Then help bounce these things. And um, you you can get caught there. Oh yeah. Here, as you can see, I'm standing there. The homing attack. Oh. Okay, I waited too long. But as you can see, I was standing there, and the homing attack reticle, like, uh, basically stacked. So you see it's stacked. For Zomon, it'll only stack three times. Other bosses, it'll stack more. But, yeah, that's how you charge up the homing attack. But yeah, you just dive down here, he'll throw, he'll flip the stage, and then he'll bounce onto you. These boss battles aren't too hard. Um... Definitely not my favorite of the Sonic. They're like the... I don't even know what I would compare them to. I guess you could compare them to the Koopalings in the Mario games, but I don't know. I've heard someone else compare it. I think it was uh, Clement. Uh, he compared it to them, and I guess I watched Clement's videos as well as some Combo John. Those are two of my favorite Sonic fans. <laughs> um, that I follow. But yeah. That was Desert Bones Ruins Zone 2. Finish Zomon off. Well, then finish him off. Beat him the first time, and we finished our first mock speed section of the game. Hmm. Power levels green, or about? Power levels stable. Extractor activated. is unstable. We just want to borrow some of the planet's energy. We don't want to destroy it. Speak for yourself. Seems like the Deadly Six have more evil plans up there um, in their mind. In mind. In their mind? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty cool cutscene. We got an RC vehicle. Something that I don't use because the co-op mode in this game is worse than freaking like Super Mario Galaxy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why it's in here to be honest. They could have like added online multiplayer or something instead of putting those in. And yeah, we can find many lives here, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing I don't really find consistent about the story is the fact that Eggman does that, right? He's taking energy from Earth, not from the Lost Hex, because um, later on we're gonna see a cutscene later that ex uh, pretty much accentuates my point. But let's go to the circus here, and um, there's a new gimmick, a cannon, yay. So basically you just tap the cannon and it'll shoot Sonic. One thing I don't really like about this is the fact that they're yellow, like, they have this yellow outline about, like, near them, and I guess the developers were like, oh. It's gonna make it easier for the for the player to see them. It actually makes it harder for me to see them. Cause like the yellow is so bright as well as the other colors in the background. It's just like wow. I'm not sure how you pop those big balloons. Like they randomly pop for me. And uh yeah. My best tips for these circus levels are just look at the top screen, not the bottom screen. I mean you might miss the cannon a few times, but just look at it to tap the cannon. Not to actually Finally. And watch out, like, watch. I can do this. Sonic will miss the cannon. Oh, never mind. He got in the cannon. Sometimes I'll miss the cannon if you're too reckless there, so just be aware of that. Basically, these are to get more animals. That's what you're trying to do. The more animal, you're gonna need more animals to unlock the final level of every uh, zone or part of the world. Which I would still like to call zone, but I really can't. So, like, here it says 300. Excuse me, well, I'm way past 300, but 
I don't know, like later on, there's like one point in the game where you're probably gonna need more. As long as you're not speedrunning the whole game in your first playthrough, you should be fine on animals. Um, so here we go to a level that's pretty cool actually. I saw this level when it was first shown off. As you can see there, the title says Dessert Ruins, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, because in the original E3 footage, there was uh, footage of this level that Aaron Weber showed off, and it showed desert ruins, like it just said desert ruins. And I know they were saying, oh, every uh, zone in this game, or every stage in this game is going to have different themes. So like, they said this, the other one was a desert, this one is a dessert. Um, but that ended up being like, people were like, confused I guess at E3, they are like, why does it say desert? Dessert. You know, like you guys are like bad at grammar or whatever, you're a professional company. I don't know what the real complaint was, but yeah. Hey, how'd I get hit? What the heck? But yeah, um, what ended up happening was uh, Aaron Weber, like I guess he told the dev team, like that people were complaining. So they actually changed the name of it to Dessert Ruins, and I just fell off and motor bug glitched off the end. <laughs> okay. That's why you always want to hit this checkpoint, because I'm trying to get it right in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he changed. He told them and they changed the, word, the words there. Which is pretty cool to see how fan reactions actually do affect the game in some way. So here's where the run button would not be advisable. Like, you could just walk there and get your precision platform. Which is one thing I really hate about. Like, one thing I don't really like about the precision platform. Like here, I'm running, I jump. He goes a pretty pretty good distance as long as I'm facing that way, right? But like, say I held the run button, like you don't see that much of a difference with his jump, right? He should be going further because I'm running, but I don't know. Maybe that's just how I feel. That's made me miss a lot of jumps, especially when you're red ring hunting in this game because uh, it just gets annoying. And I still call- I should still call him red ring, but whatever. I mean, I like this stage. It's like Sweet Matin but a 2D version, and like, better graphics, obviously, uh, from Sonic Colors, but, I don't know, it's, it's generic, it's 2D, most of it is scripted, uh, so, I mean, honestly, it's not one of my favorite levels, that's for sure, like, right here, that almost failed that jump just because I wasn't holding the run, like, I don't know, like, when Sonic has no speed going for him, he almost always misses, like, his platforms, I don't know, maybe that's just... Maybe I'm just bad at controlling him? I don't know. But that's one of the only things I hate about this game. It's the precision that they were boasting about, and then you don't really have that precision. Like along with the wall jump stuff that I mentioned earlier. And if you spin Nash into the boost pad, you get a secret. And these cannons, there's something that, like, this game, I don't know what the heck this game is thinking, but it seems like cannons are like the new springs of Sonic. They're everywhere now. At least from what I've seen. I don't think you can jump into that cannon. I think you have to get there from the bottom, because there's another pass in the bottom. Oh, maybe you can. I lied. But it just shoots you right there. And there's one here. Something's funny, like, I thought that cannon wasn't visible. Like, the first time I watched the footage of this stage, or my first time watching the footage of this stage, I was like, that cannon wasn't there, and Aaron Weber showed it off. He's, he's like, oh, I'm just gonna go kill myself, and then he goes in there. I'm like, what? How is anyone supposed to figure that out? And then now, they actually let it, like, they let you view it beforehand. So it's pretty cool that they did, like, these, those little changes and stuff like that. But yeah, that was a pretty easy zone. Nothing too hard, nothing too crazy. Nice aesthetics. I'll give it that. And now we've opened the last portion of Desert Ruins. Kick an enemy into another enemy. Oh! Another useless RC jet. <laughs> Stealth jet. Oh, okay. So different. I heard you can use these in, like, solo, but I never actually tried it. It's like, I think you need another Wii remote. Um, I'll do that circus afterwards. I think you need another Wii Remote to do co-op, but I didn't try it yet, so let's see. And I forgot to show you guys the uh, power-ups, my bad. Like, let me see, co-op... If I just click one, 
Yeah, it tells you to turn on player 2's controller, so I don't know. And here we have some floating animal capsules because that makes total sense. And then again, what does make sense in Sonic's world? And by the way, don't try spin dashing here. The tornado somehow cat the, the sandstorm somehow catches you. And the speed booster is really finicky, like look at that. I hit the speed booster but it doesn't go. But if you spin dash here, you're bound to get caught, because that thing, I don't know why. Spin dash just really gets weird about the thing. Hey nice, we got all the red rings here. Um I won't tell you what the red rings do till later, but you probably could already guess if you Played it in the Sonic game. <laughs> and here we go, Zomon, version 2. He'll jump three times, the third time will stun you if you're not careful. Just use the homing attack uh, triple attack thing. Which by the way I didn't I didn't learn that homing attack thing until we in the game. Um and that's one of the things that was that's annoying. Because like the game, yes, it should be like people were complaining it's too easy they tell you everything but this game doesn't tell you anything like, <laughs> I don't know it doesn't even tell you how to use parkour unless you press the, the special uh, the, uh, unless you click the tutorial thing which pauses your whole gameplay by the way but yeah that's all you do you just wall run jump across Zomon bam it's done but like if you didn't know how to parkour how would you know to do that it's dinner time but yeah, while I have both negative and positive thoughts on this game, the whole thing as a whole is pretty awesome. And with that, we've completed Desert Ruins.